video we're going to work on cropping photos. If you recall, we were working on these photos earlier, changing our resolution, checking our color space, looking at our effective PPI. And so this icon, you can see our actual PPI is 300, our effective is 301. But if we wanted this larger, you can see that really drops our effective PPI below 300 which we don't want to do. So our option is either to run this smaller or instead of running them small, we're going to try to crop them to fit. We may have a little bit of loss of resolution quality, but it won't be that big of a deal because the size we are running these is relatively small anyway. So I have this sized, the size I want. So in order to correctly crop this image, I'm going to need to get the size from InDesign before we go over to Photoshop. So a hot tip for you, if you are in Pikas, you're gonna wanna switch to points. Photoshop does not crop in Pikas. To do that switch, go to InDesign, Preferences, Units and Increments, and just change those ruler units to points. So we are at 264 by 264 points, and I'm gonna hop over to Photoshop, and this is our image that has already been changed to CMYK. We're simply going to crop this. So I'm going to grab my crop tool. That is the fifth tool down, and if you don't see it, it's probably hidden under the perspective crop. The keyboard shortcut for the crop tool is C. Now we're gonna work up in this control bar, and notice you have this drop down where you can change your cropping dimensions. We're gonna be on width and height and resolution, but you have a lot of other faults, including the ability to save crop presets. So again, we're gonna use 264 by 264, and notice I'm typing PT for points. If I didn't, it would default to inches, and that might take a while to crop. So I've entered 300 for my resolution. My crop looks really good here, but you can adjust it by just using these edges. You can also move the image around inside that cropping space. So once you have your crop dialog correct, hit the check mark and your photo is cropped. So we're gonna save it, hop back over to InDesign and notice we have this exclamation point that says it's been modified and we'll double click to update and now notice our effective PPI is 300. So cropping that photo and the resolution stayed pretty good, cropping that photo allowed us to run it a little bit larger. Another hint for working with your effective PPI is as long as you are within 10 percent of your actual you're going to print just fine. So that is how you can crop photos to make them appear larger and not bust your resolution.